gee, what could this box that came from UPS be? I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> this is what we're Josh doing. This is gonna be an unboxing of the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. I received no indication this was shipping. In fact, when I checked my orders, it still says pending as of this, uh, as of right now when I'm recording this. I got an alert from UPS My Choice saying, hey, you're receiving a package from Google today. And I'm like, really? And then I went on Twitter and found out a bunch of other Android websites are posting about this. So let's go ahead and open it up. My order information is going to be in here, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out real quick. There you go. This is the packaging slip. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side because it has my address and information on it. So let's go ahead and get to this. This, I don't even freaking care about anything else right now. This is great. This is awesome. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. It's, it's, it's staring at me. It's saying, open me. So you can go ahead and pause that and read it for yourself there. It is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. It is the 2.3 gigahertz quad core. It takes a nano SIM. So I'm going to have to go to the T-Mobile store today and get a my HTC One. Or I'm sorry, my um, this is the old HTC One, by the way. This phone takes a micro SIM. So I'm going to have to go get a nano SIM. 5-inch full HD 1080p, dual cameras, a 5 megapixel front camera, which I'm super excited about because I honestly use the front-facing camera on my devices the most besides the back camera. So I do a lot of videos on my second channel uh, and Instagram and stuff like that. So I'm very excited about that higher quality front-facing camera. I'm going to go ahead and post a quick picture on Instagram. It's... Beautiful. And then hashtag HTC1M8. And then GPE for Google Play Edition. And post. There we go. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you'll know when videos like this are happening. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This also posts on Twitter when I post on Instagram. So there you go. There you have it. Oh, let's, let's freaking, let's open it. All right, the serial information is here at the bottom, so I'm going a little bit out of frame here just so I don't have to show the important information about my device to the whole world. Um, some of you may be asking, why get the Google Play Edition? Well, uh, I, ever since I got my first Nexus device, my Galaxy Nexus, and then the Nexus 7 2012, Nexus 7 2013, and then my Nexus 5 here, I've been absolutely spoiled by stock Android and receiving, having the very latest version of Android and always getting the very latest version of Android. When Android 4.5 comes out, this device will get it way before the carrier uh, developer. All the Sense versions of the HTC One M8, um, it will take them a few extra months at least in order to take the new update from Android, port Sense on top of Android, uh, which slows it down and then update everybody's phone. So I prefer stock Android way over, you know, uh, any custom UI. Now that being said, uh, Sense isn't bad. I'm not, I don't, I'm not hating on Sense. I just prefer stock Android. To me, Sense is a lot better than TouchWiz, but that's just personal preference. So let's go ahead and open the thing up here so we can get to the phone and stop talking and just Super excited. Oh my goodness. This is just beautiful. I mean, this is, this is crazy. And it says right here, Google Play Edition. So there's no confusion. Let's go ahead and pull that out. On the bottom side here, it looks like this little bit has the information about your phone, which is not on the back of the Google Play Edition. So please do not misplace this label and please attach to the device to claim service and repair. Well, I don't not put that on there. Then you have some like stickers or something. I don't know. You have a little SIM card ejector tool to pull the nano SIM out and put yours in. You have some safety guide. You have some HTC stickers. Um, yes, you have two. I'm going to probably put those on something. It, hem it comes with earbuds. The Google Play Edition comes with earbuds. And look at this. They're not red like the normal ones that come with the Sprint version. They are, and it comes with little little adapters here for the different size ears. But look at this, they're different. They're like HTC branded and they're white. So it's got a little button to like answer calls and stuff. 
or to hang up on somebody. So definitely, you know, gonna check these out and see if they're any good. And then you have the charger. We're gonna see what kind of uh, amps and milliwatt hours and, and stuff like that. There you have it. You can read that information for yourself. We're looking at five volts and 1.5 amps. And then we have the little charger to charge the device up. Got tons of those cables everywhere that I have not even used. So we're stocked up on those. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in here. I'm taking this out because I'm gonna head to the store. Oh, it says right here, HTC One Google Play Edition, inserting the Nano SIM. Um, let's shut up and get to the unboxing. I'm sure some of you are saying that by now. All right, so <laughs> this is this is incredible. Peeling this off, that's just absolutely gorgeous. I, I don't even care. I don't care what people say. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh man, let's uh, look around the device real quick. There's that little thing there for pushing this in there and getting the little nano sim out. And uh, on the bottom here, you have your micro HDMI, which is slightly to the right there. Then you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I use a car dock while I have a thing in my car where I can like use my phone as navigation and stuff. So I don't know, I'm guessing in a way it's good to have it charging and your 3.5 millimeter going into your auxiliary port. Lately I've just been using Bluetooth in my car anyway, so I guess that's fine. Then your volume up and down. The power button's on the top right here, which is a little odd because um, for, it took me a little while, but I did get used to hitting the power button up here on this side of the old HTC One, the M7. I got pretty used to hitting that, so it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to hitting it on the side there, but I mean, to me it felt really good just hitting it like that or on the side, so that's just gonna take a little bit of getting used to. You're gonna see just how long it takes to boot up here. Uh, this is exciting. Again, the Google Play Edition does not have sense, so stuff like the dot case, more than likely it's not gonna work because it's not gonna have the software, um, the custom software that Sense has in order to use that, but I'm fine. When, 4. when Android 4.5 comes out, this will be one of the first devices to get it along with the Nexus 5 and the other Nexus or Google Play Edition devices out there. So I'm not going to be stuck on Android 4.4 uh, or whatever the device comes with for a long time while waiting on the manufacturers to add their overlays on top of Android and then update everybody's devices. It's going to come straight from Google, not HTC, not the carrier. It's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> please insert a SIM card. Skip. Let's connect to my Wi-Fi here. Uh, my 5 gigahertz. It's picking it up. All right, type in my Wi-Fi password, hit connect, and we're gonna see just, uh, hopefully this has wireless AC, I'm sure it does, the old one did. Got Google, yes I do. All right, you type in your information, you hit the little next button, you press okay on the screen, it pops up, and then you can go here and back up and restore stuff. I like to uncheck that, and then it's going to restore my uh, like Wi-Fi information, some of my apps, some app data, not most, that's why we're gonna root it, and we're going to um, put Super SU on there and uh, Google. Yes, I'm in. This is this is exciting. This is awesome. Here we are. Okay, Google. What is Eminem's real name? Eminem's full name is Marshall Bruce Mathers III. My Zoom H2N is recording my voice. Well, I'll just let the camera audio pick that up. There you go. You've got the little stock buttons down there. You'll notice that they are different from the Sense version because this is not Sense. So, and when you hit recent apps, you just slide everything out of the way. Very, very cool stuff there. So on the left here, you have this. Um, I ordered the Amazon Fire TV. That's coming today. Uh, and also a battery for my Sony 4K camera that I'm using to record this video with. So let's update in the Play Store here. It is downloading that. It's going to be downloading a lot of apps. Let's go ahead and stop that and then just update the ones we have. And there we go. <laughs> this is awesome. So you drag down from here. 
So you drive down from here, you get your quick your uh, notifications, so you can just go back and forth your quick toggles there. I can jump to my settings, or I can press on the brightness and lower raise the brightness how I like it. And then I can just go to anything I want to. Let's go to settings here, and we'll go down to about phone, and we'll keep tapping on that build number. Now when we go back, we'll have developer options there, and we can enable USB debugging, and we can root our device and stuff. So again, under about, you'll see 4.4.2, build number KOT49H.H16, uh, kernel 340, you can see the baseband there, and then HTC One M8, so Android. It's loading my contacts and doing a lot of stuff. But there you have it, the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. Again, when Android 4.5 comes out, this device will get it way before the Sense versions of this phone get it. Uh, when Android 5.0 comes out, this will be the first device to get it. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, by the time Android 5.0 comes out, if 4.5 comes out a month or two from now, the carriers and the HTC and all the other manufacturers could still be working on Android 4.5 when I'm already on 5.0, you know, if that happens in the future. So this is why I like the Google Play Edition. I like having the very latest version of Android and not waiting on the carrier or HTC or anybody else to update my device. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's pure Android. So we'll launch YouTube real quick. I'll go to my videos, my uploads, and then I'll play the unboxing of the camera I'm recording this video with. What's going on for the title of the video? There's no messing around, there's no bull crapping. This is the Sony 4K camera. I did not think I was gonna be able to pull this off, but thanks to all you guys on Twitter, Instagram. So when you play the video, it hides the on-screen buttons, which is really, really nice. I hope more and more uh, like apps do that. So I'll play it and we'll just demo that one more time. You'll see this little thing go away and it's using all of the screen. More apps can do that. I've seen some do that. And you just, uh, when it goes away, you just do that and it brings up the little on screen thing there. Or you can swipe down to get to your notifications. So, this is awesome. Those front facing speakers was the biggest reason to get this device over anything else before. So, here you can see my old HTC One M7. This is on Sprint Network. And there you have it. It's just. It's not that much big. It is it's quite a bit bigger. The screen on here was 4.7 inches and this is 5.0. This is a 2300 milliamp hour battery and this is a 2600 milliamp hour battery. So um, if we stand them like that, you can see the extra height there. As far as thickness, they don't look, uh, one of them doesn't look any thicker than the other because this has more of a like rounded curved back than this one does. I mean, this one has a little bit of it, but this one, it's like amplified. It's <laughs> it's pretty cool. You have that camera right there, which takes the after focus. Let's go ahead and just try that real quick before we um, do anything. So I'll take a picture of my boxes over here. And we'll go back to the picture here. And then I wonder if I touch on... Now, I don't know how to do the focal thing. I don't know if you'll have to download some special app in order to use it or if there's just a setting or something in there to play with. This is just the unboxing. I will do a first impressions. Uh, the Amazon Fire TV video is coming later today. And then tomorrow, I will hopefully have a first impressions, how I feel about the device. I'm super, super stoked to have this in my hands right now. I can't even tell you. HTC makes an amazing quality phone. And this phone is actually feels kind of small in my hands. But with this one, it's a, it's a little bit like wider than this one, I think. No, not really. A tiny bit. But uh, it feels a little bit different in the hands. More, more because this one... It doesn't poke out as much, like it's not as curved, but with this one, the back actually feels like it's touching your hand. So, 
Way more videos of this sucker. Gonna do a video on how to root it. I'm going to install recovery on it, uh, Torp recovery or the little touch recovery or whatever recovery is available. We're gonna flash Cyanogen mod on it. We're gonna flash since ROMs if they become available. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to download, just like on the uh, Sense version, you'll be able to download a Google Play Edition ROM. I'm pretty sure someone will port Sense over to the Google Play Edition, and we'll be able to use things like the dot case, and then we'll be able to go back to stock Android. Um, instead of getting the Sense version and installing a Google Play Edition ROM, you'll notice that most of the time a lot of things are broken, and there I am trying to hit that power button, it's right here. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of times things are broken and they don't work as well on an official device like this that's running stock Android without somebody like me porting it from one device to another and trying to figure out how to get things to work. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. Way more videos of this coming very soon. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a huge thumbs up. It's just a little click, but trust me, it goes a long way and it lets me know you enjoy the video and you want to see more videos like this. Uh, basically just encourages me to keep doing what I'm doing. And it also lets me know that you want to see more videos on the HTC One M8. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram like I showed you at the beginning. That's how you'll know when videos are coming out without waiting on a new video in your YouTube subscription box. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.